It's the Maori welcome is over, then the military one will be offered in the form of a royal salute. salute having been offered and accepted and uh, I don't know if you can hear it but uh, on the other side of the harbour as I mentioned the uh, 21 gun salute is being fired at Point Jerningham and now the Governor General is taken away by a guard commander and the commanding guard today is a, an army tribute Major Benjamin Bagley followed by the Governor-General's aide-de-camp. And they, I can tell you, uh, continue this duty for some time. Captain Julia Lecky and Flight Lieutenant Nicky Donaldson. So His Excellency honors the colors as he passes them. And, uh, appears with a happy smile on his face to be quite pleased with the turnout. Good on him and good on them. Of course, all this mightn't have happened. I gather a very large umbrella was uh, put by just in case there was a deluge. Uh, it would have been a shame, if you pardon the expression, if the rain had spoiled the Honourable Anand Sachinan's first parade. This is the first time that uh, the Governor-General has, this particular Governor-General, has uh, opened at Parliament. Uh, he's uh, been in office for some time, but there has not been a change of government in that time. He, of course, is uh, our first Governor-General of Indian and Pacific ancestry, having been uh, uh, born, I think, in Fiji. He's our 19th Governor-General, and before he took up his post, he had more than a 35-year career as a lawyer, a district court judge and a parliamentary ombudsman and played a significant part in many community professional and sporting groups. He and uh, Mrs. Satchinan, Susan, uh, were married in 1970 and they have three adult children uh, who are no doubt very proud indeed of what their mother and father are doing for our nation. While this is going on outside, the inspection now being completed, the 
Governor General Almighty will God. dismiss the guard commander. You can see in the small box up at the top of the screen that uh, the members of the House of Representatives have assembled. Conduct the affairs of this House and of our and, country uh, to the glory of the Thy holy name, time. the maintenance of true religion and justice, the honour of the Queen, and the public welfare, peace, and tranquillity of New Zealand through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Members, I have to report that, accompanied by members, I waited upon His Excellency the Governor General at Parliament House yesterday when I addressed His Excellency as follows. May it please Your Excellency, in obedience to Your Excellency's request, the members of the House of Representatives, in the exercise of their undoubted rights and privileges, have proceeded to the election of a Speaker, and as the subject of their choice, I now present myself to you and submit myself for Your Excellency's confirmation. To which His Excellency replied as follows. Mr Speaker, it is with much pleasure that I approve the choice by the House of Representatives of you as its Speaker. I congratulate you on your election to the dis this distinguished office, marking as it does the appreciation of the House of Representatives of your impartiality and ability. I have further to report that I also addressed His Excellency as follows. I humbly thank Your Excellency for your confirmation of the choice made by the members of the House of Representatives of me as to be their Speaker. I have now on their behalf to lay claim to all their privileges, and especially to freedom of speech and debate, to free access to Your Excellency whenever occasion may require it, and to the most favourable construction being put on all their proceedings. To which His Excellency replied as follows. Mr Speaker, I confirm all the rights and privileges of the House of Representatives which have ever been granted. I assure you that the House of Representatives shall always have ready access to me and that I will at all times place the most favourable construction upon its proceedings. Honourable Members, I desire to repeat my respectful acknowledgement to the House of the high honour it has done me in electing me to be its Speaker. I have received the uh, following authorisation from His Excellency the Governor-General to administer the oath or affirmation prescribed by law to be taken or made by members of the House. Pursuant to Section 11 of the Constitution Act 1986, the Honourable I, the Honourable Anand Satinand, Governor-General of New Zealand, hereby authorise you, Dr. The Honourable Lockwood Smith, Speaker of the House of Representatives, to administer to members of Parliament the oath or affirmation of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen required to be taken or made by every such member before that member shall be permitted to sit or vote in the House of Representatives. John Key, Prime Minister, authorised Anand Satyanand, Governor-General, 8 December 2008. Honourable Members, I regret to inform the House of the death on 27 November 2008 of Michael John Minogue, QSO, who represented the electorate of Hamilton West from 1975 to 1984. I desire on behalf of this House to express our sense of the loss we have sustained and our sympathy with the relatives of the late former member. I now ask members to stand with me and observe a period of silence as a mark of respect to his memory. Honourable members, I now call on a senior Māori member to give a meeting. While the new speaker, the Honourable Dr Lockwood Smith, was conducting his first session of uh, the House of Representatives, which is just uh, acknowledged uh, a late 